hi guys in this video I will show you how to the routing process actually of Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos now before starting anything else the primary thing that you may want need to make sure is that your phone is completely unroot now to follow the unrooting process with your original Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos firmware I have given the link below in the description actually I have um, made a video previously on routing Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos the fact is that uh, that used to be an old version and there were many uh, users who used to uh, who used to complain that after the Odin uh, process that is a flashing of the CWM there are uh, an error used to come that says uh, no command or something like that so I'm just preparing this video that will show you the latest process or the latest method to root your Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos actually what happened is that with the latest uh, uh, version update of Jelly Bean 4.2.2 and with the latest handsets of Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos there has been a change in the firmware due to which uh, some uh, users are not able to go to the CWM as was mentioned in my previous video so I'm making this particular video for those users I hope this helps Anyway, to start the process, uh, you need to have certain files with you. Like, if you show in my laptop, I'll show you that obviously I have the Odin files. The CWM, this is actually the CWM file with which I will flash uh, uh, using Odin. Then there is a fixed recover recovery. Actually, this will uh, fix the issue that, which makes sure that no issues will come uh, regarding the routing process. And of, cor of course, the updated Super SU version 1.65. So let's get started. Uh, before starting anything, as you know, I need to press the volume down key, the home button key, and the lock screen at the same time until the page for volume up or volume down comes. Like just keep on holding them. Yep. As you can see, it says volume up to continue. So I will press volume up and after I press volume up uh, you will see this particular screen comes and I will connect my phone to my laptop using the data cable right now if I look into the screen I'll open my Odin I'll just double click on that yeah hit yes and yes of course uh, you are quite familiar with this screen by now of course this will turn blue because it makes sure that Samsung keys is properly installed in your PC or laptop uh, this must turn blue and for this particular routing process what I need to make sure is that I need to check out this auto reboot button this is mandatory very mandatory please make sure that this this particular auto reboot button is checked off and only the re F dot reset time is uh, actually checked now after that I need to hit PDA and I will of course navigate to the CWM that I showed you the new CWM actually this particular file I just need to select that and after that I need to hit start and like you know uh, this download bar will also appear on your um, phone actually so just wait for it till the whole process completes right see over here it says pass and now you will see in your phone since I have actually checked out auto reboot button so it's not booting by itself so at first I will hit exit in Odin then I will plug off the phone and at the very same time what I will make sure is that I need to just put off the battery just put off the battery and just keep it like that for five seconds one two three four and five so I just again I'm just putting up the battery okay after inserting the battery what I need to make sure I is uh, I have to go to the CWM so as you know I have to press a volume up button the home button and the lock screen button but before I proceed there is some important thing that I want need to mention also now if I go to my laptop you will see the two other files that says fixed recovery and update over SUV version 1.6.0 or 1.65 you need to copy these two files and paste them in your external SD card in the root of SD card only that is very much important because right now we will get along with those files so just 
connect your phone using the data cable and have those two particular files copy and pasted in your external SD card. Okay, after that I need to go to the CWM so I'll press the volume up, the home button and the lock screen button. Just keep on pressing them till the screen comes. Okay, after that you can let go of the buttons. Just wait for it to go to the CWM. Yes, here it is. Now, uh, as you can see, you can navigate using the volume up and down and select using the power key button. And at the same time, this particular CWM also gives you access of touching. See, I choose install zip. And after that, I choose zip from external SD card. So after that, I navigate and I navigate to this fixrecovery.zip like I told you that I have copy and pasted both those files this fix recovery and update super SUV version 1.65 so at first I need to hit fix recovery.zip I just hitting that yes install see it says install from SD card complete now once this installation completes again you have to peel off the battery and just wait for five seconds so this is very necessary Okay, after that again I'm putting back the battery and again I'm going to the CWM pressing the volume up, the home and the lock button. Okay, now this screen comes, I can let go of the buttons. Again I'm choosing install zip, choose zip from external SD card and I am navigating to the super SUV version 1.65 folder. I'm just pressing yes install see the process are going on again it says install from the SD card complete so now again I am going back and I am hitting reboot system now so let the system reboot if any other issue comes uh, once it says reboot system now you can pull off the battery again and just power on the phone like you do or else reboot the system if it works fine then it's good to go nothing more to do now as you can see this and uh, it says android is upgrading so this makes sure that the routing process has gone on okay now let me open and just double check on my end so I can be sure that the stuffs that are being done has been perfectly executed yeah as you can see here is a super SU so if I just open that particular link and uh, no thanks I don't want to do that stuff like that now currently no apps are configured over here so just to make uh, make it double sure what I'll do is that uh, at first I'll just turn on my Wi-Fi and then go to the Play Store and I'll search for the app that says a root checker root checker sorry I am root K-E-R just search for it here uh, I'll just install the second one that uh, this particular one okay just give it some time to install now as you can see I have installed the root checker so I'll just uh, open this particular app and I'll just hit check over here yeah it will ask for the grant permission of from super user I'll grant that and yeah it says access granted so that actually verifies your phone has been successfully rooted I guess this video helps you guys uh, because with this particular video with this particular file that I have listed in the descriptions below you can actually root your Samsung Grand Duos without the issue uh, whatever the issue that has been pointed by uh, all of the users you can try this particular latest file the latest things over here and it will solve the purpose I guess this helps please like the video subscribe to my youtube channel for more interesting updates to come um, that's it guys. Bye-bye.